Yo, Aries, how you doing? Let's go ahead and get your May reading knocked out. Yes, I'm, I'm going ahead and starting on May now. Lots of things have come up in the personal life, so I'm going to go ahead and knock the May readings out early. Plus, the earlier the better anyway, right? Anyway, uh, look in the description of the video if you want information on scheduling personal readings. Uh, my Facebook, my Instagram, all my good stuff. All that stuff is in the description of the video, okay? So look down there, all right? Anyway, less babbling, more reading, right? Let's see here what do we got for my Aries people for the month of May universe. Month of May for my Aries people. Ooh, that jumped pretty quick. The fool. Okay. All right. So this is one of your cards. All right. Ready to take a blind leap. I think we kind of all are right now collectively, right? Kind of a blind leap that we're taking here. I don't know. Let's get six shots. One. Two. Three, three more shuffle. I see communication happening here. Some of y'all could be dealing with an air sign, a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. Knight of Swords in the Fool card. Or maybe somebody's just going to randomly text you, possibly. I don't know. Boom, the Page of Cups, though. All right, so overall, I do think that this is something brand new coming in for you. I think this is a new love offer, a new, a new start of some sort. And with this fool and the Knight of Swords happening right here, I think it's going to happen kind of, oh, it's just going to be something kind of sort of random and sporadic about this, okay? The way people may be seeing you from the outside looking in, though, is the Emperor in the reverse. This is the Aries card in the reverse, like this. You're not really yourself, you know? Like, typically, you're this, you're just this, you know, I got it, I got it all together, and I'm good, yeah, blah, 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 you know, I'm, I'm Aries, right? Yeah, that's typically you, and now I think people can kind of see, it's like, oh, am I doing this right, you know, <laughs> just a little bit, I'm exaggerating just a little bit, but on the inside, though, the way you're really feeling is like, I don't really think you want to be bothered with a bunch of other options. You really don't want to get out and date around a whole lot. I really don't think you want to get out, you know. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that uh, for a while now, it's either, like, I want one person or I just want to be left alone. That's it. So, you know what I mean, if that makes any sense there. Let's see here. Ooh, the High Priestess, King of Swords in the reverse. Okay. So, I think that what you're doing here is you are making a decision. Like, there's no indecisiveness about this, and that is to follow your intuition and ignore your fear, okay? You get the King of Swords in the reverse here, though, okay? So, make no mistake about it, uh, this Emperor in the reverse, you're not going to let anybody know that you are the least bit vulnerable. So, oh, you, you pretty much have to put on that mask of, of being tough, right? Hey, that's cool, Aries. I, I dig it, I dig it. I mean, you know, some other people misunderstand, like where you're coming from when you do that, but I dig it. I, I see where you're coming from. Anyway, though, um, yeah, with the high priestess here, the two of wands in the reverse, this is a decision to follow your intuition and ignore your fear. So that's very, very important because the only other choice you have is to follow your fear and ignore your intuition. Just because you follow your intuition doesn't mean there's not going to be fear there. Like Private clients come to me all the time asking me, am I on the right path? Because they're scared. They don't know if that's the right path. Yes. If you are on a path that you are choosing because you have this little voice inside of you that's telling you to do it while the rest of you is afraid, that's your intuition. Yes, that is the right path. Absolutely. Could be a Sagittarius that you're dealing with here, though, or a Pisces. But I feel like this person is coming like this may be the first time you've ever attracted a person like this. It's a little bit confusing, okay? Because this person seems very balanced. And there's something about it with the moon in the reverse and the temperance card here. Something about this person that, like, I don't really feel like they're hiding things. I don't really feel like they're coming at me, um, you know, keeping a bunch of secrets or something like that. 
Uh, Page of Swords, though. This every every bit of this is a brand new love offer. That's good. No past energy uh, in this spread right here. No past energy. So, yeah, I feel like this person's coming, and it's kind of a little bit confusing. Maybe that's what puts you out of your element there. Maybe that's what puts you out of your element there. And that's why people can tell that, you know, because it's like, man, this person seems very together. They seem to have their poop in a group a little bit more than uh, what I'm used to. You know, why is this person who seems so very well composed dealing with me? Something that feels a little bit funny about that. But, hey, I say go for it. I say go for it. All right, let's look a little bit more at this person that you're dealing with. Just a little bit more. A little bit more at this new person that Aries is dealing with, universe. Those of you who are interested in reconciling with a past person, we're going to read that later on. But the way that I do my readings now, rather than like some cookie cutter, like everybody gets the same spread one after another, I feel it out. I feel it out and see which way it's wanting to go. And this is going in the direction of a new person. So that's where I'm going first. Let's look a little bit more at this new person coming in for my Aries people. A little bit more at the new person. <laughs> Boom! King of Wands could be another fire sign. An Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. Could be anybody, though. It doesn't matter. The thing about this is that I think, again, for the first time, maybe not for the first time, but... Uh, for a lot of you, you're just really, you're, you're really thinking like, is this too good to be true? Is this too good to be true? Like, I'm not used to, to entertaining the likes of somebody who's actually serious. Somebody who's actually not playing games, you know? Let's get five shuffles there. One. Two. Three, two more shuffles. The boom, Knight of Swords in the reverse. Okay. All right. So on a deeper, more internal level right here, this individual um, could be an Aquarius that you're dealing with or a Taurus. I have Aquarius and Taurus. I don't really feel like they're coming at you with, like I think a lot of you have been used to in the past, um, either playing or like either you're, you're this person or the person you're dealing with has that white knight complex, you know? Because that's typically... Like I talk about uh, uh, in a lot of other readings, the emotional codependence game usually has two characters that play that game, okay? One person is the, um, I'm empty, poor, pitiful me, I need a person to fulfill me, and the other one is the white knight. I'll save you, I'll come save the day, you know? And I feel like this person right here is like, that game is not being played with this person here. No drama, no unnecessary unnecessary stuff here with this person. Nothing, you know? And again, it makes you kind of think, hmm, what's going on? Is this too good to be true? No conflict, no, you know, this person doesn't try to challenge you, doesn't try to have a knowledge contest with you all the time. Uh, and you know what it is, though? I'm going to tell you what it is that you're sensing that's off about this person. This person has come to terms with their past. They have come to terms with their past. That is incredibly powerful. Incredibly powerful, dude. That's what's happening here. Because they have the Six of Cups. Some of you, it could be a past person. It could be somebody that you already know. Mm -hmm, it could be. Either way, whether you already know them or not, that would be cool if it's somebody that you already know. But either way, I feel like this person has come to terms with the past. Okay? They're okay with it. They're no, they're no longer angry about the past. 
You know, they're no longer holding that negative grudge energy with them, you know, which will weigh you down every single time. That negative, thick, deep grudge energy that, that does nothing, you know, it does nothing but hold you back. You know you've done it. I know I've done it. You know, when you're, you're angry, uh, it's something that happened in the past. Man, you just cling to that grudge energy like it's going to do something to them. You know, like the, it's, mm, no. all it does is bog you down and slow you down and halt your progress. And the idea is for us to, at some point, it's like, I always say it's like carrying around a backpack full of bullshit. And at some point, you stop, you open up the backpack, and you start sorting through sorting through all the mess that you're carrying around. And I think this person's already done that. Okay. So, man, let's look really quick though. You know what? I don't even want to read the past person. I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything in this that has any, some of y'all I think could be dealing with the past person. In which case, your potential for reconciliation is already there, but I don't really feel like there's any past people that you need to know about, honestly. It does not like, in feeling the energy, and feeling the energy that's coming through, you know, the, which is what happens when we sit down and read like this, you know, I can feel the vibrations coming through. I don't feel that. I don't feel that at all. I don't feel like there's any, any of you out there that need to know anything about, about a past person that... You know, that you're on bad terms with or wondering whether or not you're going to hear from them again. Sorry, I, I don't think I need to read that. All right. I think I need to go ahead and see where is this situation most likely headed? What are you going to do? Are you going to take this situation further? What's most likely going to happen here? Are we going to take this situation further? Or are we going to, what are we going to do here? What are we doing? Ba boom, three of cups. Okay, let's get three shuffles here. One, two, and three. Ba boom, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Nine of Pentacles reverse. My bad. So, I think that, uh, hmm. like I said, I think that this puts you a little off. I think you're going to go ahead and decide to go for this, okay? I think you are. I think you're going to keep taking this further. But right now, I feel like there's just something about this that, again, it puts you off a little bit, okay? And that's normal for those of you who, who have never, ever attracted something into your life that's too good to be true. It's not too good to be true. You know what makes it too good to be true? You questioning it. Once you start putting that energy into it, the chances of it becoming too good to be true increase dramatically. Increase dramatically. So I still think it's hard. That's that's. Very difficult for you to look past that possibility that this is just too good to be true, you know? So, yeah, I'm thinking that uh, you're overthinking and overanalyzing and being a little bit too careful, a little bit too cautious with this, you know? But, again, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Earth sign, by the way. But, again, this looks to me like, okay, I'm going to take this forward, but I still am burned from the past. Okay, you're still burned from past uh, heartbreaks, you know, and being done wrong in the past. Um, again, could be a Sagittarius. I also have Gemini here. I also have Gemini. But uh, yeah, I think communication is a little bit poor between the two of you as well. Okay, you don't really know how to express your frustrations, maybe, without coming across the way that you do, you know. And I get it. It can be frustrating, but... Uh, I see that uh, throughout the rest of the month of May, it looks like it's all about working on regaining balance, okay? Becoming balanced with a new person, balanced with a situation. 
Because again, you really don't want any other options. It's either one person or nobody. And that's all there is to it. You know? Makes sense? It makes sense. Uh, other than that, though, I do think that you're going to do the best that you can to enjoy yourself. You know, I see you probably, those of you that like to party, I see you probably getting out and partying and having fun and having a good time or whatever, but I just don't think that you're going to sit around and let yourself waller in the, in the fields. You know, anything but wallering in the fields, because I feel like some of you all might be a little bit scared of your emotions, to be 100% honest with you. Might be a little bit uh, angered and irritated whenever something grabs you up by the heart, you know. Makes you a little bit angry. You don't trust it. You don't like it. You don't like somebody else having power over you. So anything to break free from that or at least feel like you can trust it is what I'm saying here. But I don't think this is too good to be true. I really don't. I think that what you need to do is you need to allow. <clears throat> I use the word allow because, oh, surrender. You don't know no Aries is going to surrender, right? Oh, no. But, I mean, it's not surrendering anyway. Like, when you say allow, that has much more of a neutral connotation to it. It's not positive. It's not negative. It's not like, oh, I'm just rolling over and surrendering. No, 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 no. You allow. Allow pretty much the universe to do what it has to do for you. Okay? There's this saying that goes, only dead fish go with the flow. I strongly disagree with that. Strongly. I say only dumb fish fight against the current, thinking they're going somewhere and they're just stuck in the same spot because they won't quit fighting. Fighting losing battles. And hey, that fish really thinks it's going somewhere, but you stand back and watch and you're like, hey, what are you doing, dude? Why don't you just quit fighting for a minute and allow the current to take you somewhere? A wise fish, a smart fish, will only fight against the current when it needs to. You let the universe work for you, you don't have to do anything. It's the only way to manifest something you've never had is to allow the universe to bring it to you. It's the only way to do it. You cannot recreate with your analytical mind something you've never had. You can't. It can't happen. The only thing that you can go out and make happen with the power of your analytical mind is more of what you've already experienced. Okay. The universe brings you something. The universe opens up a door. It's kind of scary. Something you've never had, something you've never done. You better leap through that door. And I think a lot of you are going to. But that does not mean that it won't be scary. It's not. That doesn't mean it won't be scary. And that's good. That's fine. That's totally fine. Okay. Just uh, do the best you can to work through the fear and don't make any fear-based decisions. Do not let fear make any decisions for you. Okay. Oh, yeah, and the Six of Cups reverse just flipped out, too. So those of you who are still hurt about a past person, just know that the more energy you feed the past, the, more, the higher the chances that you're going to recreate it. The higher chances. If you're looking back in the past still bitter about something that happened to you back there, you really, really, really increase the chance of recreating it in the future, okay? So anyway, I feel like the messages my Aries people needed to hear have come through. I'm going to go ahead and hop on out of here. I greatly appreciate everybody that tuned in and listened to me blab here for the for the May readings and uh, showed love, okay? So I'll see y'all sometime between now and the rest of all eternity, okay? Have a good one.